Hi, we're live. Welcome to The View from the Bay. Today is Wednesday, March 5th. I'm Janelle Wang. Spencer is here, but Audrey's here first. Yes. Because we've got some girly stuff to talk about, and I'm talking about the makeup bag. Mm -hmm. Ugh. It's a breeding ground for bacteria, but regular cleaning and proper storage can make a huge difference, I hear. But I hate cleaning it because I think it's a pain in the butt, but fortunately, Audrey's here. I'm going to make you. Yeah, you've got a makeup <laughs> bag makeover for us. I do. You know, it's a time of year when you should look at your makeup bag, declutter, you know, the whole thing, and maybe you've got the wrong size one or it's not fitting your needs your makeup should go to your lifestyle and your requirements for your mm. cosmetics okay give us okay some so examples. I brought some examples okay. for you today okay first of all we have this one and this is from um, a company called sleepyhead these three bags three of them for the price of $36 which is really great you can take one to the office leave one in the bathroom and then one for when you go traveling oh, cotton so you can throw them in the washer that's great this one is Sophia lovely and bright so if you like the bright oh. ones that's a good one mm -hmm. now this company here I really liked it's kind of a bit different they're online 1154 little studio and you know the, the very big expensive bags do you know how much they are like the Louis Vuittons and the fancy makeup YSLs bags? I yes don't know. fancy ones over $200 oh. well here you can customize your own online you can pick the fabric for the outside the inside the handles the size everything this is great inside because there's a, there's places to I don't know if you can see because it it's all black but there's places and pockets to put all right. your stuff in your brushes and, the, and your brushes and you know you want to make sure that the inside lining is a washable fabric or a wipeable because we all you know have spills right. in that how much are those roughly the 38 and 58 Good. but you can design them around you'll have your own unique Custom. thing mm -hmm. perfect okay. okay everybody's familiar with the little sack we all have a lot of those and these have three compartments they're easily washable throw them in the washer wipe them off nylon they fit nice and flat in your handbag uh -huh. and then and I brought you benefit you know they always have those like cute expressions on them they're so cheerful and everything this is a great little one it's got nylon inside to easily wash it it's got a brush container place here and then the front is totally washable okay. as well so really good 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 options good, good choices. options but you know look for everybody has their specific needs yep. so this doesn't fit everyone mm -hmm. here we go to a planner system I love Trish McAvoy's planner system it's like the size of a day planner uh -huh. okay the bag is $55 and then inside you buy this the you know the day sleeves here oh to fit your needs depends on what you want as your makeup you, you can add more, you more or, or less. less or take away you can get brushes or not Cute. and so I really liked this one that's a great one that's convenient now here for two dollars and ninety six cents I just bought this clear little cosmetic bag here and then I to show you what you could put in what most people should have in their bag during an everyday work day okay. when they're going out for the evening you have mini brushes here from Sephora mm -hmm. at about ten dollars powder blush foundation mascara liner concealer and then you want to have something in here for the eyeshadows that has multiple colors that's small this one happens to be by doo -wop. You, doo -wop, will this all fit in this bag it all fit in that bag oh, i promise you okay okay it's gonna be a test i'll win okay <laughs> <laughs> and then you can't have makeup without having the right brushes and brushes vary so much in prices and the reason they vary is because of what is the brushes made of synthetic taclon are they squirrel are they badger it's it's all the fibers that okay make are the some big better difference. than the others well again to your personal needs and your budget I brought you eight brushes in the front here that are must-have brushes and I put them online where they go on your face okay. but you have a foundation brush powder you have a concealer brush okay. you have a base brush you have an angle brush for under your lashes and your eyebrows mm -hmm. the brush next to you is for your crease mm -hmm. And that one is a liner brush. That they like the fatter brush. I like okay. a thinner one myself. And then a retractable lip brush. I just got that one. Yeah. Okay. And then you know a lot of us have these lovely brushes that we like. We fancy. Oh, that's a nice one. This is a I kabuki know. brush, which I is just got one. So soft. Great oh. blending tool. It's retractable. Throw it in your bag. And this is not for putting product on. This is to buff and to blend. So you put the foundation on, then you buff. Yes. And then you put the powder on Because you over. want that flawless finish. This is the softest thing I've ever I felt know, in my lovely? life. I love it. Now, you have this brush, this Janelle. One. You've been doing the wrong thing with it, but you I have know. it. Now, this is a new brush by MAC. It's a foundation brush. And then you put the foundation on. And then with the top the small brushes that you see there, you blend it. So you get this flawless airbrush type of a look. Okay. So it's a nice brush. And then here on the top, we've got brushes by e.l.f. And they are a dollar a piece. So if your budget doesn't go to fibers, real fibers, then you can go to the synthetic and a dollar a piece you could you know throw them away okay what a deal now we're gonna talk about cleaning brushes because I do mine like once every month six weeks I wrong mean, 
<laughs> okay. Wrong. Hey, you know how I've gone on the street so many times? Yes, I know. Well, I did a very bad thing. What I did you do? I went by your makeup bag and I saw two oh, of your no, brushes. Oh, no, it's going to be gross. <laughs> I know, but I'm thinking it's my own bacteria that I'm applying on myself, and what's the big deal? Well, your own dirty bacteria on dirty bacteria. <laughs> no. And you wonder why you get spots. I mean, I know. Really. I do have clogged pores. Yeah, so I brought you some cleaning solutions, okay. easy ones. What are First, these? First, on the far side, you've got the 70% alcohol. You can buy it at Walgreens or anything. Put it in a spritzer bottle, spray it on a tissue, and then just brush your brush, your brush okay. across it. This is a brush cleaner, same method. Uh -huh. And then we've got your favorite product, Long Comes by Facile. That's an eye makeup remover. I that love will... this for eye makeup remover. Yeah, but... but it'll also take the makeup off your brushes. Oh, good idea. Okay, and then you know how you get the shampoo freebies, the mild yeah. shampoo when you go to the hotel? These are great. Wash your brushes once a week in this. Okay. For everyday thing, here's a, here, I'm going to get you working. No, first of all, I want you to do the okay. spray. Spray? Okay. Yes, spray that. Okay. Okay, this okay, is every this. day? Yes. I don't have time seconds. for this. Oh, okay. Yes, oh. Yes. Ooh. See, and you need it. Oh, gross. Okay, okay, put a little bit of shampoo in that bowl. Okay. Tiny bit. Like that? Okay, yep. Swirl this brush around. Oh, no. Mm hmm. Take the excess. Hey, it's not too bad. Well, because you haven't. There you go. It's coming out. Okay. And then you're going to rinse Ooh. it. See? Yeah. It's Hello. turning brown. Hello. Okay, and then I rinse you it. You rinse it well, and then you're going to put. Let me rinse know, it. There you go. Rinse it, and then you're going to take all the moisture out as much as you can, okay. and lie them flat so that you can dry them flat, air dry them flat. There you go. Okay, I guess I now, didn't take too long. Now you can take that bottle of air, and you can go to the back and do the rest of your oh, brushes. Oh, I know, I know. That's okay. so gross. Okay, yes. it's got to be a routine, like yeah, a habit to do, to do once a week. Everybody needs to do that. Okay, well, you know Easter's coming up. Yes. So I bet all the kitties have bunnies on their minds. They're cute. Look at that, Audrey. View from the base starts now. Hi, welcome to the View from the Bay live. Today is Tuesday, March 18th. <laughs> I'm Janelle Wang. As you can see, Spencer is gone, but I've got Lisa Quinn here and Audrey Mansfield. It's a ladies' show today, right? It's all about the ladies. Yeah. How are you girls doing? Awesome. Good. Hey, this is the first. I know that we started the show yeah. together. Yeah. I know. I kind of like it this way. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, and that's shoes. You know, Audrey's got the hottest trends. We're talking about pumps. Peep toes, wedges, gladiators. gladiators. I mean, and how can shoes revamp our look, Audrey? Because you know what, this is the time of year when you want to splurge on shoes, but you want to make sure that you're getting a wise investment. And this season.